I want to start on KRE and the regional banks. I read um, one of your investing letters recently, and you talked about how um, you're, you're like becoming a bank owner, basically, through investment in these regional banks. How's it going with that? Well, it's uh, obviously going up and down. Uh, the last few days, they've bounced back up. Uh, you know, the question is uh, whether this is a, a crisis of, um, of interest rates, higher interest rates, or uh, simply a, a crisis of contagion where investors um, fear the worst. And, you know, those are difficult situations to, to value and to buy or sell. Uh, but I think, you know, based on KRE, which is an ETF and has about 150 different issues, so most of them less than 1% in terms of the the waiting, but based upon that, um, I, I think we've stabilized uh, to some extent. Um, you know, the values are there. Uh, the price to book ratios are about 0.6 on average, uh, whereas they used to be on the regionals about 1.1. And so, um, you know, we've got a situation where there's value, but we've also got a situation where uh, investors are still leery based upon uh, deposits and the lack of deposits. And so talk to us why then we're talking about an ETF. Obviously, if you look at the regional bank landscape as a whole, there's been some specific names that have really seen the brunt of the action. PacWest in particular over the past week uh, has been extremely volatile. So if you're looking at this situation evolving, does it make more sense to go into something like KRE that tracks all of these names versus trying to pick one? Well, I think for the conservative investor, it does. The, the diversification is a positive, and KRA is not as volatile as some of the ones that you mentioned. That's not what I've done. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I think buying the stocks or shorting the stocks is really not the way to go from here. I think what you want to do is sell the volatility in this particular sector. The volatility on many of these stocks is um, extraordinary. Uh, on uh, PacWest, it's uh, 300 uh, normalized, which uh, I know is technical, but is extremely high uh, volatility. And it's the same thing on many other stocks. I've, I've been selling volatility on uh, Western Alliance, that's uh, WLAL, and on Zion. Um, both of those uh, volatilities are um, much higher than normal, higher than and 100 and you know should the market simply stabilize which is what I'm talking about which what I'm thinking at these lower levels then a two week or a month and a half option um, what I call a strangle you know selling a put selling a call at 10% above and 10% below you know they provide a very very potentially profitable um, investment as opposed to simply buying the stock or selling the stock.